Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China. It's a beautiful evening, the sun is almost going down. It's around 5.30 and uh, these are the activities happening around here in Kitale Nature Conservancy. And I've had an amazing time in the previous episodes to go through the rails and to do the boat ride. So, in the next 30 minutes or so, I want to show you what's happening in this animal orphanage so follow me follow me this will be a quick one not so much I just want you to see what's happening here at the animal orphanage so that you guys can relate to this place here in Kitale Nature Conservancy they are almost closing and I have to show you what's happening around this place last time I did not capture the lions and now they are active so today i start with the lions that is the lioness over there you can see very 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 big the lioness and it normally has the spots like a tiger if you are very keen to observe and now this is the male one you can see it has the sergio money it has the Sergio Mane or those big big beards. How to distinguish between a male lion and a female lion? That is a female lion. Does not have the men or the money, the beard. Uh, well, it's very healthy. But you can see the male one has the man, the money, men. And of course, the male one has the balls, of course. The balls normally face caudally or backwards. In the cat family, the balls normally face caudally. Caudally is an anatomical name to show the position. Caudally is more inclined to the back. So they call it the testis, rete testis, or epididymis, intratesticular rete testis, extremitas caputata. So, the lions, and they are moving very, very fast. It's, they seem to be very unsettled here. Look at that. And unfortunately, I just have to record with the background music. And uh, here in Kitale Nature Conservancy, they normally bring animals which are genetically uh, deformed. Like this one. The hooves are not well uh, formed during the embryological processes. Let me show you. Just look at the hooves in the front leg. At the knees when the hooves starts. Look at that. So that's uh, genetic deformity. Look at that. And also the other hooves are not well formed. Look at this hook and that one. Alright. All right. So let's see what's happening. Speak softly. Throwing stones at the animal is an offense. So Let's proceed and see what's happening around this place in this episode here in Kitali Nature Conservancy. Maybe the sun. A hyena should be here. A hyena should be actually here. Oh, there is the hyena. It's called the Crocuta. Crocuta. But meanwhile, let me show you what's here. Don't feed us. We don't trust you. So, what is here? Usilishe wanyama means don't feed the animals. Hello. We have a baboon here. It's probably a female one, very lonely. And uh, right now it's chilling because it's almost getting uh, in the night. So they chill. Because these ones are more diurnal and not nocturnal. So the hyena which is a scavenger is here let me show you from so that's the hyena 
And this probably is a spotted hyena because you can see the spots on its skin. The crocuta crocuta. It's chilling actually. It's sleeping over there. Here. The crocuta crocuta. And on this other end, what do we have? Is it a baby baboon? We have a baby baboon here and uh, the brother's monkey. I saw this the brother's monkey in Saiwa Swamp National Park. It has this white beard. It looks like a Chinese, uh, the movies, Chinese master. Because they normally have this white beard. So the brother's monkey and a small, small baboon. The brother's monkey. And also in Saiwa Swamp National Park, we have the colobus monkey and the black, black and white colobus monkey also. And also Sykes monkey. So this is a baby baboon. Baby baboon, a male one, definitely. And that's uh, the brother's monkey. There. That's a uh, the brother monkey. So let's keep moving and see what's happening. Here they used to have some rodents, but they don't have the rodents anymore. There are some big rats, some zebra mice, but now. They don't have and this a watchtower where you can stand to see what's happening. I think it's for the people to monitor the surrounding. So over here what do we have? Should be a is it a cheetah or a leopard? Do you call it leopard or leopard? The people who are good linguists. Is it a leopard or a leopard? So the leopard should be somebody somewhere somewhere here and uh, of course here they say this is uh, where the llamas are llama from peru peru is it in new guinea llamas but now the llamas are grazing out and of course the ostrich is here and we only have only one ostrich here Italian Nature Conservancy. This is an amazing, amazing orphanage. So let's see the ostrich. Here it is. It's eating grass. If I'll have problems with the copyright, well and good, because there's too much background music happening. So we have to do what we have to do, because we ought to do what we ought to do. Here is a leopard or a cheetah. Maybe the cheetah, if I'm not wrong. But it's somehow perfectly camouflaged with its surrounding. I can't see it. Maybe I check in the cages, I see if I'll see the cheetah. Oh, it's in the cage. Oh, it's not a cheetah, it's a leopard. Look at that. Over there we have the leopard. The leopard. And it's sleeping, but it's mostly a nocturnal animal and it's almost evening right about now. So it will be very active during the night. Right now it's just chilling. Maybe if I move close, that's the lot.
over there. Leopard's foot. So what we have here. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, maybe we check here and maintain order. What could be happening here? Here we have a crocodile. Probably this is the Nile crocodile. And you can see the teeth are actually interlocking and outside. Very visible from outside. They're very, very beautiful. The Nile crocodile. That's what's happening here. And uh, let's also go around and see what's in the other cages. Also here we have a Nile crocodile. Look at that. Nile crocodile. Be friendly to the animals. Don't disturb or feed them. Here we have a warning. Don't disturb or feed them. But it looks like... Uh, they have been feeding them because I can see some meat in the water. Well, that's not a tortoise. Not a tortoise. That's not a hippo. So, also we have crocodiles. Let's see what we have on this other end. Some birds. Very nice. And you can see how they are feeding the birds. They have lifted so that they can exercise as they climb here because in captivity maybe they don't exercise quite often so let's see what we have here here they say we have a tortoise but I cannot see the tortoise but I can see the Debraza monkey that's how a Debraza monkey looks like let me go close this is how a Debraza monkey looks like but it's going away. That's how the brother monkey looks like. It's climbing up. Hello. That's the de brother monkey. And here we have some crowned cranes. Here, the national bird of Uganda. The crowned cranes. Here. Here. And this one looks disturbed. This one looks disturbed. Maybe it wants to mate. Because sometimes these animals, when they want to mate, they start displaying a very weird type of dance. Maybe it does that to attract the other mate. This one maybe wants to mate. Or maybe it's just under stress. The others are relaxed here. Same to this one. Don't scare us. That's another one. And here is it a bazaar or are they the black guys? Over there. Maybe these are the black guys, definitely. Or for the bird, bird watchers, tell me what birds these are. These ones. These ones. Which birds are these? But this one is a marabou stock. That one is flying away. And there's another one on that tree. Look at that. Flying away. But this is a marabou stock. Marabou stock. They normally have this thing here. They say it's just some fish over there. Loves the aquatic environment. And this one is lacking the leg you can see 
He's standing on one leg and lacking the other leg. I don't know if that is a genetic deformity or it was injured and then brought here. So, moving swiftly, let's check what's happening on the other end. Because they are almost closing this place. So, in the next 10 minutes, we need to finish. The lion is still walking over there. I don't know, maybe it's time for them to feed or something. But most of these animals, when it gets in the night, they are normally nocturnal or active during the night. The male lion is sleeping, the female one is distressed. So, let's get a closer view of the lion and then we head out and see if we will see the animals with deformities. The lion is sleeping somewhere here. Somewhere here. Let me show you. There. the female one over there one more time over there it's not coming back not coming back so that was the on the animal often the only animal orphanage here in Kitali that was the cow with no legs you can see the legs front leg starts in the middle so at this time I want to see where the other animals are so that I show you the deformities in a few minutes. Let me search for the animals in the woods or in the grass. I show you the deformed, the, de the deformed animals here in Kitali Nature Conservancy. But I can't test them. Maybe they have gone to the zero grazing unit or something or their house so they were somewhere here but I can't see them I can't see the animals unfortunately I can't see the animals they normally graze around here Let me see if I could spot them. So I've been walking around to spot the animals and it seems right about now some of them are transported to their household. So here in Kitali Nature Conservancy is where you see the animals which are genetically deformed and I come across a few here. So in the next few minutes let's appreciate what we can be able to see. Like this one, the hind leg is missing or is not well formed. This one, you can see how it is working. The hind leg is missing. This one, the front leg is crooked. And this one also, the front leg, one of it is actually not well formed. And you can see it is struggling to move. 
look at that and uh, this other one what could be the problem could it be male and female at the same time this other one I don't know what's wrong with it but this one also the legs are not well developed you can see the legs are not well developed the front ones are dwarf legs crooked not well developed and the back ones are not well developed or oh, well developed but crooked or bent so that's what's here a more a clear view of what's happening that's what's happening here all right let me try and see if i can find the other ones over there if i don't find i end the video so let's see been able to find the animals but as i exit kitale nature conservancy i want you to appreciate this beautiful beautiful monument here normally they bring kids in high school and primary to learn about CRE or uh, the Bible so like that is the ark and now these are the Ten Commandments over there and some th information about climate change and then global warming biodiversity and this is what's happening around this place this is to show professor angari matai maybe we can climb up this one professor angari matai an environmentalist this is what's happening here and uh, this is the top neighborhood you can see how this park or nature conservancy is here is the place so more information about global warming and what have you professor ongari matai so i have to come down baby come down come down it's an industrial revolution what has been happening and the greenhouse effects the pollutants the greenhouse effect as you can see over there which is very very beautiful so let me take a photo here let me take a photo here all right so let's go down one more time and you see what's happening there used to be a cage over there and here also there's a cage you can go in and that's how you go so i don't have time i have to go this is anoto in china and we meet in the next episode as i exit kitale nature conservancy here in africa kenya transvea county this used to be the old one entrance building but right now it's in the process of construction because it was burnt so there's some antelopes here probably the statunga this one another one a crocodile and what have you so i have to exit from this end so bye bye until